What's going on, guys? Seth and Chevy here. We just watched episode 11 of season one of Delicious in Dungeon. We'll be talking full spoilers, so you have been warned moving forward, and we'll do a real quick recap. This was basically the Red Dragon fight we've been waiting for the whole show, and uh, that's what happened in this episode, basically. So hopefully you uh, watched it and enjoyed it, but basically um, they had their plan. They're going to drop the bridge on the dragon. They tried to do that. Um, with a diversion where they're being chased by the dragon. Um, they try to use Senshi's uh, pot as a shield. It does shield the fire, but it heats the, evenly heats the pan and burns everybody's hands. They have to um, uh, find other means to get away from the dragon while they're doing that. Marcel is hanging out, just literally just hanging out, uh, waiting as they're just getting attacked nonstop. They end up bringing the dragon close to her. She ends up dropping the bridge on its head, and it is uh, predictably not enough uh, to take it out. It enrages the dragon, and uh, they get into an awkward situation where they get stuck under um, the dragon, um, trying to figure out what they're going to do. Um, oh, no, this is before they, they got stuck under the dragon. They were on the ground mm playing dead basically and then Laos uh notices its weak point basically at the like the inverse scale the yeah that thing and um he's gonna try and strike it but uh i forgot the name of his sword but the thing in his sword uh, decides it's gonna try to escape it jumps away taking the sword with him and uh Laos is left swordless um and then uh yeah when it goes over them, they end up running from it, tries to attack them. Uh, Senshi pulls out his mithril uh, cutting knife, um, which they find out uh, just then that it is uh, made of mithril, so it's super sharp and cut through scales. Um, they use it on the dragon, but the problem is that it's a, it's a small old knife. It's a giant dragon, and they just kind of stab its toe, and it just pisses it off even further. Um, so yeah, uh, try to figure out what they're going to do. They end up um, deciding that Senshi is going to make a run for it to uh, grab the sword and uh, throw it to Laos. As he does that, the dragon attacks, stomps on him, uh, hitting him pretty badly. Uh, Chilchuk runs in to help, uh, sees the mithril knife, throws it into the dragon's eye uh, with a really good uh, throw, and uh, then gets hit with rubble, basically, as things are going crazy. And... Uh, yeah, Laios ends up meeting up with, um, uh, oh God, Marcel, Marcel. <laughs> and uh, they devise a quick plan that uh, they're basically going to launch Laios on top of the dragon uh, with the pot. They do that. He gets launched up and uh, ends up getting his leg uh, inside of the dragon's mouth. Uh, dragon bites down on it um, pretty hard, and then he ends up stabbing the dragon in the throw, in the weak spot. Uh, Dragon ends up chewing or biting his leg off, severing it. Uh, he ends up dropping. Um, Dragon gets dropped. And then uh, we get a flashback of Laios and his sister, Phelan, um, when they were kids, an incident that they had with a ghost in a graveyard, um, kind of giving them insight to Phelan's abilities and what she could possibly do with them in the future. They kind of decide they're going to stick together. But then uh, later she said that they need to split up. And uh, yeah, uh, we get back to what's happening. Uh, Marcel's going around um, healing everybody to different degrees because everybody got hurt pretty bad, uh, which seems to uh, hurt after healing people if you heal them too quickly. She uh, sucks at it. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> so Chilchuk's freaking out. Senshi's horrified um to you know have that happen to him he also doesn't like magic so it's kind of funny um how how intense he was about that and then she ends up reconnecting um laos's leg to him uh interestingly enough maybe it'll go away but leaving a scar um and yeah they end up uh using the mithril knife to um, cut into the dragon looking for phelan's body um, they don't find her in the stomach, which takes a while to cut through. They have to go through the skin, the scales, um, around the rib bone, and uh, it's empty in there. Then they uh, desperately check the intestines. They don't find anything there. And then they uh, end up, well, Laios, uh, since he has an infinite wealth of knowledge, like how fast dragons run um, while they're getting chased by one, um, 
decides to check. I don't know what the name of that was, but a sack where basically it keeps. Um, it's kind of like cows. They have like that stomach for garbage. Yeah, it kind of reminded me of like how like uh, yeah, it, exactly. And so this episode was oddly uh, scientific in the way dragons worked, which I kind of appreciate. We'll talk about that. But um, they use this sack basically uh, to keep things that are flammable, basically, um, uh, because they click their tongue to basically work as a flint. Um, And uh, yeah, so they they check that sack and uh, they end up um, sorting through a lot of stuff. They're finding a lot of remains of other things that's eaten in the past. And then they come upon uh, Phelan's staff and Laos finds Phelan's skull, and the episode ends at the worst possible time, right there. Um, so yeah, what do we think? <clears throat> uh, it's a very good episode. Yep. Uh, I uh, it had pretty like standard animation at, at the the beginning, um, and then as soon as like all hell broke loose, uh, it got very good. So I appreciated that. Um, it was very, very trigger because like yeah. I thought at the beginning of the episode, the animation was pretty good. Yeah. Uh, better than their average. Like in some of the episodes, this is where it would be if it was getting good. But then it just got better mm-hmm. later. And then uh, the art style changed a couple times, which reminded me of trigger. Uh, just kind of getting crazy with the visuals. Mm. Especially like when the dragon enraged, you kind of got that like uh, stereotypical like crazy manga panel for a split second yeah. for like intensity and then I want right back to animation, which I like when they do that a little bit. Uh, if you go do it too much now, you're giving me a slideshow instead of anime, but yeah, um, the effect was successful. Though. There's a very subtle thin line between homage and laziness. Yeah. Uh, def- the show has not been lazy. So no, yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. <laughs> I'm saying sometimes when people use like, Oh, just a freeze oh, yeah, yeah. frame for too long. You're like, Oh, it's lazy or, yeah. You know, an anime from the 90s. And then other times I kind of appreciate it because it's like they're calling back to the manga or mm. they are just trying to settle in a scene real quick where it just needs to be a freeze frame, basically. Yeah, yeah. And so um, it's easy to tell typically. But I think, you know, same technique, but sometimes it's worth it. Sometimes it's not. Yeah, for sure. Um, the the thing, and I appreciate about the show in general, but like this episode did a really good job of it as well, is like, everything is so like well explained and understandable without treating us like idiots. Yeah. Uh, her magic, like the, the, like basically she creates, um, what looks like a fuse out of runes Mm -hmm. and that's how explosion magic works. Uh, the way they like explain how the dragon works. Um, even just like the idea of like, this thing's ginormous and we're just like little, like yep. that was part of the equation. And even like the idea, like, well, we got to try to knock it out. So we're going to be able to kill it. Let's drop a building on it. Like that makes complete sense. Like mm-hmm. to, to try that. So, um, yeah, it's kind of really like smart. What I've said in the past with the show is for a show that's about basically exploring dungeons and eating. It's a very clever show. Mm. And this episode was full of little lore drops constantly like information on dragons, how they work. They explained everything. I've never even thought about it, but they're like, oh, it's got to click its tongue. I'm like, that's interesting. Yeah. And then uh, even, you know, we learned about how, you know, a ghost can be attached to this world by its ring uh, in the flashback, um, how magic worked with uh, with Marcel and the explosion stuff. Like, yeah, there's all these little things that if you, if you don't pay attention, like you can miss out on how the world, it feels like the world has been planned out on how everything works mm-hmm. and it feels, it feels smart. Yeah. It's, it's been really nice. Um, and I do agree. It, it does explain it in a way that's like really easy to, to understand. They explain a lot, but I kind of like that they do because it makes the world make more sense. Um, but they're able to do it in such a simple way that like, you're not spending time going like, wait, how's that work? It's not like you watch like, you know, jujitsu Kaisen or something. You're like, how the fuck does this move work? Like how, but in this, it's just like, oh, okay, that's interesting. Well, and it's also not doing like, and this is definitely like a late 90s, early 2000s trip of like the guy with the glasses stands up, shows him mm-hmm. his face, and then monologues for like five minutes yep. about what he's about to do. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is like basically like, here, let me dumb it down for you before I mm-hmm. do it. They don't do that. Uh, it just Exposition, kind of like, yeah. yeah, they just kind of like go through the motions as things are happening, but it still kind of comes off as they're talking to each other, which yeah. is great. Um, and they don't they don't waste time mm-hmm. like they just boom here. Always, something's always happening. Yeah. yeah, 
And it's kind of perfect too because Lyos comes off as like an idiot who just has all this like random like Wikipedia knowledge basically. Yeah, yeah. But it also is funny towards his character, but also helps us the viewer. So it's it's a smart way to kind of give us a little like you know in a loading screen in a game giving you a tip on something in the world. Well, um, we didn't need to know how fast dragons were, and yeah. <laughs> But now we do, and it was funny because Joe even Shark's they were like, like, "What the fuck? Why is now?" I would like. <laughs> well, well, he was like, "Fun fact," and Chillchuck's like, "What's fun about that?" Yeah. Like, because they're getting chased. Yeah. So, um, yeah. Uh, then the the just the fight with the dragon itself. Um, I think my the biggest thing I enjoyed about it, outside of the animation of it, was really good. Um, was that it felt like four humanoids fighting a monster mm-hmm. like a giant monster like trying to like stab it with a knife and obviously like it's basically a thorn in its toe at that point and yeah. like he like launches onto its head and he's like it's like you know kind of community timing timing dragon's dogma coming out but like in dragon's dogma you can like climb all over yeah. the monsters and stuff it's like the same kind of idea um and i just like really enjoyed that the the struggle of like what do you do against something that big um because obviously, like it's pretty typical in fantasy to just be like, you you just hit it hard enough to break the scales and you win. Like, uh, that's not how this show worked at all. It was like, mm-hmm. eh, nope, it has a spot if you want a chance. Otherwise, good luck. So, um, I also like that all the things they they could use to their advantage weren't end all be all things. Mm-hmm. Like Senshi's pot, they're like, oh, we'll use that to shield against the fire, and it did shield against the fire, but. It's not practical. But like a good pan, the heat was even. Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> so. Yeah, it's too good of a pan. And uh, then he's like, I got a mithril blade. And they're like, what the fuck? I, I, why didn't you say it before? And then they use it. And it's like, well, what are you going to do with it? And then when they use it later to carve through the dragon, it takes forever. So like they're not going to, yeah. they wouldn't have been able to fight him with that. Um, so yeah, there's uh, a, lot of, a lot of little hurdles yeah. to even when they have an advantage. It doesn't work the way it should. Yeah, and and even like to the point of like, you know, after the dragon uh, was killed, which was very dangerous strategy on his, you know, obviously he paid the price. He got his leg back, but lost his leg. And if he would have failed, that would have just that would have been over. Like, what are you gonna do with one leg at that point? So, but uh, get a cannon leg. Yeah. Uh, the one they start carving through as if they like they're digging a tunnel. Yeah, in a in this giant monster like that was very detailed. Um, yeah, on and then even like um, to backtrack a little bit when they stabbed the the scale and the uh, and then even when he was chomped through the leg, like the blood like bubbling effect they used was kind of gross. <laughs> yeah, when <laughs> when Lyo stabbed him and then when it bit him, there was two scenes where the blood was pooling and then it showed. Lyos's leg pooling with blood, like bubbling up or whatever. That actually was really impressive animation wise. The way yeah. it looked, I've never seen blood look like that in a, in a show. But it's also kind of interesting too to see like almost like a blow for a blow. Mm. The way they they did that, the timing it was pretty cool. Yeah. But yeah. Uh, but I saw it was like ew. And then yeah. later, like when it or not later before when uh, it had the knife in its eye and they were talking about their strategy, uh, it was just bleeding everywhere, and dripping everywhere. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like. I, I always kind of forget that they'll show shit like they're that. okay with hyper violence. Yeah. Sure. I mean, they made cyberpunk. So, but even yeah. before that, like uh kill a kill uh, as an example, um, it's pretty over top show, but like people, when they get sliced, like blood just goes flying. Like, mm-hmm. so, you know, it's just kind of uh, something it's easy to forget. Cause like the animation style. Is so like, um, animate, like animated is the best way I can word it. And like, you know, they use really like bold, simple colors and stuff like that for a lot of their stuff. So it comes off a little cartoony, but then you get these like hyper violent moments. So I don't know. Um, fun studio. Anyways, th- to wrap this up, love the episode. Um, the show has only gotten better as it, it goes. Uh, I am kind of wondering what the next checkpoint is. I mean, obviously we still need to figure out that the Fallon thing, but the dragon's dead. So do we just, keep going down the dungeon or are we trying to go after the wizard like what's the what's the plan so unfortunately uh, as we found out uh, we do have an uh an actual full season so the show will be continuing into the next um uh quarter so 
I'll, I'll be curious to see how they continue the story forward because I have a feeling that they're not going to be able to resurrect Fal- Phelan that quickly. So there's probably going to be that's probably going to be the next objective is possibly yeah. how they got to get her back. They'll probably just carry around her bones or something. Well, because we know obviously her her spirit at the very least is trapped in that dungeon. Yeah, or, exactly. Yeah, yeah. So I think that'll be the next objective. They they took out the dragon, they got her, but they got to bring her back. Um, unless they do just bring her back, I don't know. Then yeah. then I really don't have any guesses, yeah. which has been most of this show. Yeah. Um, this True. show has been really good about. I have no idea where it's going. And it's been entertaining the whole time. Um, as for the episode, I'll try and keep it short because we're 16 minutes into this. Uh, it's It was a really good one. I really liked this episode a lot. Uh, it felt like a good payoff. We've been building up to fighting this dragon this whole time. And even though it was just one episode, get, I kind of prefer that. Not long dragged out, multiple episode thing. Um, especially with you know how lethal it is and how lethal they need to be to be able to kill it. Uh, it made sense that um, it, it went quickly, but uh, it was a cool fight. Um, there's a lot of good dynamic between the characters. Um, if I didn't know that people could get brought back in this dungeon, I would have been a little worried about people dying in this episode, but um, I, the whole time I was like, well, let's just bring them back. If they die, it's fine. Um, not to say I didn't care, you know, when people were getting fucked up, but, um, that it did alleviate that tension of like, oh no, something could happen that's bad. Um, even when Lyos got his leg bit off, I'm just like, they could probably heal that, right? And they did. So, um, but other than that, I I really liked um the on the fly planning and uh, having to f- problem solve in the moment mm. uh, uh, fight that happened there. They they did what they went there to do, drop the bridge, it didn't work, and then it just kind of turned into chaos from there. Um, it was cool to see them you try different methods. There wasn't just the method and then a secondary plan B. It's like, okay, try this, try that. Okay, that didn't work. Um, and then, you know, in the last moment, uh, Laos and Marcel figure that out, and even that, you know, took Laos losing his leg to be able to do but they did it so that was definitely satisfying uh really good animation there's some really crazy art styles there when people yeah. uh like when senshi ran for the sword and jumped at it and um he looked like really intense mm-hmm. and then uh uh when laios uh was yelling and jumping <laughs> it was really intense um just uh it was definitely um a, a really nice variety in animations and art styles and uh, it was a treat to watch. It definitely felt like Trigger doing what Trigger does, what you expect from them when they're not just making a show where people are walking around eating and talking and being funny. Um, and yeah, I liked a lot of the little lore drop, drops like we talked about earlier. That was a lot of fun. There's quite a bit of them in this episode. And uh, this episode, outside of just being good, really has me interested in where it's going next because um, outside of my speculation, I have no idea yeah. because I, objective complete, like you guys did it. So what's next? Um, and yeah, uh, is there anything else we missed in this episode? It was pretty much just that fight. So um, yeah, overall, really liked it. Really liked the show so far. And uh, we'll probably continue liking it. Because you said it's a full full season. Full season. So it's 20 some episodes. 24. That's cool. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll watch fucking 20 episodes of this. Um, but yeah, really good. Anything else? Mm-mm. All right, let us know in the comments what you guys think of this episode. What do you think about the conclusion of the uh, hunt for the red dragon? Unless there's more to it later. Like, I don't know how there would be since they've carved it out, which is really crazy how detailed that Very was. Very detailed. Yeah. It's like, man, they're going at it. Uh, I, love, I love when he's carving out the chunks too. He's like handing off the meat just like in like, chunks. Like they're digging boulders out. Yeah. yeah. It was like this whole operation. He even brought uh, it, it reminded of him uh, reminded him of when he used to mine or whatever. Mm. Um, but anyway, uh, what did you guys uh, enjoy about this episode? What were some of the standout moments? Is there something that happened in the episode we didn't talk about? Let us know in the comments if you want to talk about it. And uh, where do you think or hope things are going after this episode? Unless you know, please don't tell us. We do not want spoilers. We want to watch it blind. And uh, how are you feeling about the show so far? And... Yeah, let us know everything you think about in the comments below when it comes to uh, Delicious in Dungeon, episode 11. I've been Seth, it's been Chevy, and until the next episode, we will talk to you guys later.